Welcome back, everybody. We are live here at the Delaware State Fair. And if you can't tell by my smile or Justina Cornell <laughs> smile, we have food on the deck. Exactly. You know what that means. It's Foodie Friday. And we've had an absolute blast eating yes. last Friday, this Friday. We've consumed a Too much lot, food. <laughs> probably more than our doctors would recommend. But we actually got a chance to try some unique food at the fair. So check out this week's edition of Foodie Friday with unique food at the Delaware State Fair. In a land of endless fair food, you need to stick out. So the Foodie Friday crew scoped out the unique food. We wanted to offer the fair something unique. That's uh, how I got into the business, was coming out with a unique product. We make our way to Chester's Gators and Taters to attack our first dish. It's their latest concoction that is turning heads. The Mac Attack is a loaded bacon, mac and cheese, covered, smothered ribbon fry. Okay, and then we take uh, ranch dressing and put it on top, and jalapenos I have, I've got chives, I've got sour cream, we've got all kinds of just toppings that you can put on it. So that's our biggest thing. It feeds a family of 10 in regular mac and cheese, which is a big seller. And the other big sellers are ribbon fries. I said, well, why not take our two best sellers and put it together and come up with something crazy? So we took bacon and we added to it and cover it with the bacon, and now we've got a new product. We take our ribbon fries, two potatoes, we cut them up, spiral them up, put them on a plate, uh, and then and we cover it with the mac and cheese. So that's that's the first process. The second part is all the toppings. So then we start the bacon and we start the sour cream and the chives and the jalapenos if people want them. So greatness, I would say, <laughs> and guiltiness at the same time. I feel like this is the ultimate fair food. Ultimate. This is because it has everything going on. And if you need something to cool you down, try out the dragon's breath. It's the latest and greatest invention at DSF. So dragon bread, it's corn puffs. So it's made the same way as cereal meat, uh, mixed with uh, fruity, uh, fruity sugar, and we also have cheese puffs. We mix it with liquid nitrogen, which pretty much is uh, minus 327 degrees. And as you mix it, it creates the smoke, just like a dry ice, pretty much. So when you chew it, it's crunchy, it's cold, and has a smoke effect. That's what we call it dragon breath. It's coming out of your mouth and your nose, and I think if you hold your nose, it might gonna come out of your ears. But I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> and for our dessert, did you really think we can stay away from fried food? We had to finish our unique experience with a fried peanut butter and jelly. They've been serving up this one-of-a-kind fried favorite for 12 years. Now, if you deep fry in cake, huh, it's even better. Sometimes we make our own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and sometimes we get delicious smuckables. Just depends. They're the ones that you get in the store. Easy to make. Depends on how busy. We take them, we drop them into the batter that we already have made, the funnel cake batter, and put them in the fryer. It takes a little bit longer because they're thick. They're really good and thick, and we like to get them done all the way through so it's gooey. And then we just take them out, cut them in half, and powdered sugar them, and ready to go. It tastes kind of like a donut, but different because you get that you get that peanut butter taste, and then you get the sweetness of the jelly, and it's just a, it's delicious. It's really good. It's kind of like a cakey donut, peanut butter and jelly, crunchy. Just when we thought there couldn't be any more fried food for us to try, <laughs> fried peanut butter and jelly. Another winner. Oh. Mm. We're back. Oh. oh, we're back. Sorry we're back. about that. We're back on air. <laughs> it's just oh. so good. <laughs> this is really delicious, but we've been told this right here can actually feed a family of 10, would you say? Yes, 10 so, people. I mean, our family here is our 47 ABC co-workers, so... Let's bring guys, them up here. Come, come on, guys, help us out. Come, come on, guys. Come on. Everyone here. You can have Gene coming from outside. All right, seriously, dig in. Everyone dig, dig in. in. All right. <laughs> now, if you happen to run into anybody that you've seen on Foodie Friday, let them know that you saw them on 47 ABC's <laughs> Foodie Friday. Guys, how is it? Is it amazing? Thumbs up by like, Gene. Trevor? Amazing. D Camilla, you approve? Family you approval, I mean, family approval. Bacon, jalapenos, mac and cheese, one more. <laughs> I can't say this will help you slim down at all or get your beach body in shape. The calories. But I can definitely say it is probably one of the most delicious things here, including everything else that we've tried on yes. Foodie Friday. So again, guys, again. if you see anything that you like here at the Dollar State Fair, let them know you saw them on Foodie Friday. And also, if you have any recommendations <laughs> whatsoever for Foodie Friday, places Justina yep. Cornell and I should pick out at, let us know. You can email us at newsroom at 47ABC.